We're talking about all of those household items that you might have that you don't want to part with, but there's a new inventive way you can use them. And this is our professional organizer, Eileen Adkins. You've seen her on the show before. She has helped to organize all of our lives. And this is something that I think a lot of people can relate to. Yeah, exactly. So you've done like your New Year's resolution, move the clutter, get organized. And everybody inevitably ends with a box like this of stuff that it was from grandma. I spent some, so much on it. You know, it was a souvenir. I don't want to let it go. So I always tell them you can't leave it in the closet. You got to take it out. You got to use it. So just something fun like this was a souvenir. Turn it into a pillow and use it. Didn't want to use it as a dish towel because afraid it was going to get all dirty. And so How great is that? Yep. Give an idea. And then like a lot of old linens that you get from um, your grandparents and stuff. So many fun things you can do. Check them out on Pinterest. There's great ideas. These were traditionally used in the office. They're magazine boxes. Throw it in the pantry with your potatoes, potatoes. onions, whatever. It's a great. I love the look and of that. And then this, just like those loose um, uh, recipes and stuff like that. Throw that in your pantry too. This was another. This was uh, napkins for napkins, but it was just too small for the family. But it was so cute. Like you couldn't fit enough in there for the family. So put it in the office and turn it into a little uh, holder well, for, your for your cards. cards. Yeah. Okay. Old flower pots. Flower pots. Yep. Look at that. Bring inside. Last of the set of four Remikins. So now you're using it in your office because that's another big thing. It's like, but I loved them, but I won't use them because I only have one. So do something else so with it. Put it out, leave yeah. it on display. And then these are just more packaging type things that boxes like a coffee mug came in or stationery or whatever. These make great in your drawer organizers or outside too because they're cute. And then these were just some fun little um, hacks with the binder clips. So to keep your Keep things yep. organized. Keep your cords organized cords so that they don't get tangled. Yep. And there's a really cute way. And you put the little, you put the little, uh, put the little label, label on, on it, it so you know what it is because that's a big thing. You go in that drawer and you're like, what, what does what? this go to? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then this was just a fun little hack too with you wrap your um, iPhone, your iBud, earbuds around it, and it's great. It doesn't get tangled in your purse. Little like two little binder clips. Put it together if you're in a pinch. I've seen on the plane when we go to and from these road shows. John Ackerman, who is our director back there right now, he finds ways with his glass case to prop things yep. up to make it work. So, so John, yeah. I have a new idea too. So you can that use is clips. such an easy little thing to do, a little fun hack. <laughs> I like that. And this is a cable cord, just uh, you know, so they don't. You put it at the side of your desk, and it kind of holds so the cables don't fall off. Well, I'm such a Fitbit weirdo, I guess, <laughs> that this is my Fitbit charger. So I only charge it when I'm sitting at my desk, so I keep it there so I remember, so then I don't lose steps. There you go. <laughs> great way. So then you still hold yourself accountable because yeah. it's right there. Yep, it's right there. And then this is great yeah. for the bathroom. And again, Pinterest, go to my Pinterest page and you'll see lots of repurposing ideas. These were all candles, old candles. Just so this is what it was right here. Just soak them in hot water once you've burned them. Mm -hmm. Every, it, it, the wax comes out so nice, some hot soapy water, clean them out. Great ideas. Speaking of, I'm, what in the world is in this one? Well, I love this because it has a nice little seal in there too, so it kind of keeps it fresh. These are our dog treats. Oh, I was going to say, is that something for us to eat? No, it's for no. your dog's Well, seat. you could. It's dehydrated <laughs> chicken breast. But it's really ah, healthy for so the dog. dog treats. Yep, so those are what our dog treats. What a beautiful treats. little container yeah. to put them in. Yeah, then I know, and it's great because they make all these bags. cute little lids now. And then that's perfect. And then these things are just kind of that, like you know, they were handed down. You don't want to let them go. We'll use them. This was just a champagne glass. Throw a little lavender we in have there. So many of those. My great aunt, my grandmother, yes. and there's just not a whole set. Yep. So yes, what do you and do with them if you don't want to get rid of them? That's what it was. There was some chipped ones. So we just make candle holders. Out. Same thing, just like a little. The plates you don't get, want to get rid yep. of. Put your little. Throw items it on, on your nightstand. Throw it on your nightstand as a little catch-all. In a great vase. Or hang them. They're cute. Yeah, and who doesn't have a million of those jars around the house? Those Turn it into old a ball vase. jars. Yep. You, you'd be a great, <laughs> a great party planner, event planner. I'm telling you, this lady could do it all for you if you really wanted her to. Thank you. You have the best ideas, and people can check out all of your ideas on your website. On my website, right? Lean on Me Organizing. Yep. And then go to my Pinterest page for all these little life hacks too. Love it. Thank you so much, Eileen. Thanks for being for having here. Me.